My name is Melissa Cooley and I will show you how to calculate the weight of your vessel. The first step is to go ahead and draw and sketch out with dimensions what your vessel will look like. After you do this, go through and number all of your individual pieces. The, your bottom plate, port, starboard, bow and the stern. This will allow you to make sure you don't miss a piece as you calculate the weight of your vessel. The next importance is to make a reference point. In our example, the reference point is at the baseline, center line, and at the forward end of the boat. Make sure all of your calculations are taken from this reference point. If not, it will cause problems when you try to balance your ship out and as you're calculating trim and moments. The next step is to calculate the area of each piece. In this example, our bottom plate, which is numbered as 1, has an area of 12 square feet. The piece is 6 by 2, so it's just a simple area calculation. In your boat design, you're using 1 8 inch steel. 1 8 inch steel has a weight of 5.1 pounds per square foot. The next step would be calculate your centers for this bottom piece. Since our bottom plate is at the baseline, and based on a reference point, we'll have a vertical center of gravity of zero. The transverse center of gravity, or the middle of the width, is also at zero in this example since our reference point is on the center line. The longitudinal moment, since our plate is six feet wide, six feet long, would have a longitudinal center in the middle which is at three feet. Over here you can see in a spreadsheet we have already plugged in these numbers, our area, the vertical, longitudinal, and transverse center of gravity. We have multiplied out our weight and to calculate your moments all you have to do is to multiply your weight and your centers. Our next plate that we have shown the calculation for is the port side plate. This is over here which has a dimension of six feet long and it's one and a half feet tall. This will give you an area of nine square feet. When you multiply this by the 5.1 pounds per square foot, you come up with a weight of 45.9 pounds. Your vertical center of gravity is at 0.75, which is just the middle of the height. Same for your longitudinal center of gravity and your transverse center of gravity. You will continue this same process for all of your individual pieces. Next sheet over here shows all of the weights, areas, centers, and moments for all of your individual pieces of your ship. To calculate your composite centers of gravity, you will sum up all of your vertical moments and you'll sum up your weight and just divide your vertical moment by your weight to get your vertical center of gravity. You will apply the same principle to calculate your longitudinal and transverse moments.